Um. <laughs> okay, hi, my name is Lulu. I am a second year honor student here at UC Riverside. And I just want to tell my personal story about what happened on the 19th. So, okay, number one, I am just really, I'm really flabbergasted because if they're privatizing our education and they're just, they keep doubling it, they keep doubling it, they don't expect us to speak out and they criminalize us for speaking out, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah pretty much. So, okay, so basically a uh, personal story about um, what happened over there by the hub. I can never go to the hub again without without feeling sad. I have two scars. I have an internal scar and that shit will never go away because, okay, um, okay, what happened? It's, it's really, it's really, it's really a messy situation, you know, when you're, when you're in that type of, when you're in that type of brutality and everything, like, you don't really know what's going on. So basically, you have these stupid UCPD who's lined up against the students that they're supposed to protect. We're just standing there with those book blocks, which are made out of wood, just trying to build a barrier between their asses and the students, because they're not safe. And so, okay. And then, we're just standing there, we've been standing there for an hour, and these dumbasses decide to take out their batons and start hitting us. So, okay, I had, I was holding a book block, and that's made out of wood. If you could look at it, they had baton holes in them. Like, that's ridiculous. And then after, they start, they, I was just yelling, I was just agitating, I was pissed. So, um, after they hit me, or after they hit my book block, they started hitting me. And they were going to arrest me, and I didn't know what was happening because I was just being beat. And then two of my friends, luckily, dragged me back. But both of them got shot! Both of them! They got shot with titanium pepper ball projectiles in their legs. And these assholes specifically target your shins, so you fall the fuck down and you can't defend your fellow comrades or your students. So, okay. So after that, I got up. I didn't know what happened. I see my my shirt is pulled off. That is ridiculous, but Officer Ruiz, R-U-I-Z, pulled my shirt off, beat my mouth, hit my legs and my arms. I woke up the next day with bruises. I couldn't go to class. I couldn't go to class on Thursday because I was pissed that my education tuition is increasing. Like, I, I can go to class right now. I'm missing work. I'm missing class. For, this is bullshit. We don't have to do this. But basically, that the day after, I received an email from my former sociology professor saying, Hi, I saw you in the front lines on um, on Thursday, and I just wanted to thank you for defending public education. Now that's a pretty big deal. She's a sociology professor here at UC Riverside. That same day, we all received a letter from the chancellor saying how he was disappointed in the students and how the stupid-ass UCPD had to protect themselves against <laughs> us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We are nonviolent. We have no weapons but our voices, and that is being taken away as well. They have batons, they have shit, they don't even have to, they, they, isn't there like a penal code that says UCPD can't have any weapons that like shoot projectiles at students? Really? So, okay, I cannot, they're supposed to protect us. I can no longer see a UCPD officer and feel safe. I am the criminal, apparently, and that's bullshit.